My name is Anita Sinjin Gray. This project was um, my idea originally. My husband, my late husband, served in the Royal Marines and um, I have worked for service charities, so I was well aware of the pro problems that face young men in war zones. Our soldiers have had an unrelenting 12 years in Afghanistan and Iraq, and we believe that art is a way to combat the stress and anxiety, boredom, loss and bereavement that young men face in these situations. Over the last 30 years, art therapy has been documented as being very beneficial for all of these situations. Tim Martin and I started talking about this project two years ago. We approached 40 Commando Royal Marines to see if they'd be interested and the commanding officer, Colonel Matt Jackson, bought into the idea instantly. Uh, he understood exactly what we were talking about. We put together a team and we developed the project and in particular we developed the art kit. That this art kit was designed specifically to, for men to take with them uh, a light piece of kit. It has a, a military uh, camouflage um, outside exterior, it's waterproof and it's stocked with very good art materials and um, it fits into a, a trouser pocket. Today we have the opening of our combat art exhibition. We didn't know whether we would be would have any any material at all. Um, the kits were put together, they were taken out with the commando, and from then on it was up, up to the men. We put no pressure on them, we didn't ask them to do things for an exhibition, we just gave it to them to use for their own use and they could do whatever they liked. S some men didn't want to let us have their work, it was too personal and others maybe didn't care, we, didn't, we don't know what happened to it, sold it on eBay maybe. But the, the exhibition here are, are from the men who very kindly have given us their work.